Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, long time no see. I've been gone for a little bit. Um, life has been really busy, so I, I just haven't had the time to film. But I am back today doing a little bit of a haul video, showing you guys some of my recent purchases. So if you are interested in this video today, um, please do stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an SA. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. If you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram as well for more handbag related content. The first bag I want to talk about today is this really cute little one right here, which is the Ombre Pillow Tabby 18 in like the Petunia Pink color combination. So this one's really pretty because as you can see, it is a combination of pink and orange that is um, ombre throughout the bag. So here is what the front looks like and the back as well. And as you can see, the gradient and color combination is um, really like vibrant in this one. And then also they carry that detail through the bag strap as well. So you can see one side is orange and the other side is pink. The reason why I bought this bag is definitely the color combination. I just think this bag looks so pretty and it reminded me of like a sunset how the colors like bleed in especially in the back here you can see those colors mixed together and I don't know I just think it looks really really pretty how it looks like a sunset and I love like the pink and orange mixed together too um I did consider getting the other multicolor version which is more of like cooler tones um but for me personally something about the warmer tones here it looks really good together and then I also love the fact too that this one has the brass hardware on um, this bag. The next bag that I purchased is this one right here, which is the Rogue 17 in the color chalk with the red cherries. Um, and this one is such a fun bag. I think the color combination is really fun, you know, like the bright red cherries against this like white leather just really stands out. And I also just love it too because I can carry the bag as like a little top handle and it is just so sweet. Um, and another cool thing too is that if you look on the cherries, you can see that there is like glitter detail throughout the bag, which I think is adorable. And this bag is just like any of the other Rogue 17 bags. It has three compartments. So you have two open sections there and then a middle zip compartment there in the middle. And this one is going to be lined in fabric. And the third bag is going to be this one right here, which is the Telfar small shopping bag. And this one was definitely an impulse purchase. I didn't really plan on getting this bag, um, but I got an email notification on it. And I just thought it was so cute um, that I went ahead and got it. And I also was kind of wanting it for my vacation too that is coming up next month. So I think this would be a really good vacation bag as I totally whack my face with the bag strap here. Um, but this bag is super adorable. As you see, it is just like a little small shopping bag. It has the two top handles up top and then the longer crossbody strap that you can use as a crossbody or as a shoulder strap and they will be permanently attached onto the bag. And then here is what it looks like on the inside. It is just one open compartment and then you have your little Telfar tag in the back there. So one spacious compartment, the little Telfar tag, and then it is also lined in fabric as well. So this is my second Telfar bag and I will say the first one I've had, I've had a really great experience with. It is like the larger black shopping bag and I use that one so much that I think a little one would be really cute um, just for like everyday use. Um, the large one I do use for every day, but that's more of like a work bag. Like I'm able to put a lot of stuff in there, like a lunch, like a laptop if I need to and other miscellaneous things. While this one is really good just for like running errands and stuff. Um, but there's like the Telfer logo on the front and here's what the back looks like. Also, if you're watching this video and my voice sounds like shalazzle, it's because I talked way too much in this first video I made and I didn't like it and I deleted it and I'm just plowing through it so my voice is getting chewed alive so if I sound like a lawnmower it's um because I just talked way too much but we're just gonna carry on Next are going to be some bag straps and I got these two here from Coach. These are the new acrylic like resin bag chains um, and I got two of them. So this one here is like the blue multicolor and this one reminds me of Rainbow Fish which is like that little like kids book with like the fish with like the fun magical scales and this is what that one reminded me of. I don't know. I think the colors are just like so pretty um, and I don't know. They're just like super cute and they're kind of like iridescent if you like 
um, position it, like the lining correctly. Like you can kind of see them shimmering, which is so fun. And then this one is really cute too. This one is like a tortoise shell effect. I think Coach just calls it like multicolor or something. Um, but to me, it's kind of like a, a tortoise shell. It has all these fun different like speckle colors in it. When it comes to like, these bag chains, I mostly use them as like a decorative feature on my bag, just like a bag charm. Um, but I have used these a couple of times as shoulder straps and they are pretty comfortable even though it is like a hard um, acrylic material. And I don't find that the um, a shoulder strap like dig into my shoulders or anything, which is really nice. And like I said, um, I mainly use them for decoration. The next item is a t-shirt and is this really fun one. This one just says Super Grumble on it and it's by Coach. And it's just like a black t-shirt and it's like oversized, um, but it doesn't like swallow you. Like I wore this and I felt really good in it just because I feel like the cut of this t-shirt for some reason is really flattering, even though it's like pretty large. Um, and I felt kind of fancy in it. I don't know why. Um, but I just love the fact that it says super grump. This is really a fun font. I feel like this is definitely me if I'm hangry. Um, and I don't have like rotisserie chicken near me. I love rotisserie chicken. So if I don't have a chicken in the fridge, it's just like pure chaos, I feel like. Um, but anywho, I feel like this shirt is super duper cute with the fun font, like I said. And yeah, I feel like as a Gemini, this is definitely the personality sometimes. Um, but yeah, there's this shirt. So the second to last bag is this really cute one right here, which is the Pillow Madison shoulder bag in the color chalk with gold hardware. And I just love this bag so much. I've used it a couple of times and I just think it looks so cute with all my outfits. Um, so as you can see, it is a really puffy, puffy shoulder bag with this really fun like diagonal quilt um, throughout the bag and it features the gold chain hardware as well. Um, and I was really actually torn between this color combination here and the gray one. Um, but what made me decide to get the um, chalk one here is because the hardware on this one is brass. Um, even though as much as I kind of love that gray color combination with the gunmetal hardware, I just like the brass hardware just because if I did want to accessorize it, I kind of want my hardware to match. Um, so I was just like kind of like stuck there so I went ahead and just went with a safer choice for me personally which is this one here um and I feel like this particular bag combination the um chalk with the gold hardware also goes with a lot of more like clothing in my collection or closet I should say and here's what it looks like on the inside so it's just one large open compartment like so um you do have a leather backing here with the little zip pocket in your coach story patch um but the majority will be lined in this like um honey color microfiber material and the really cool part about the pillow Madison bags is that you get this like secondary magnetic pocket which is so strong and if I'm being honest it sounds really satisfying when you like open the pocket and close it it's just like what pam it's so loud um, but it's also a really generous pocket as well in that same microfiber material. And the back of the bag too does feature a magnetic pocket as well. So that is a really nice additional feature. And this pocket is very generous. So you are able to fit your phone keys and other items in the back like all at once just because it does give a little bit. Um, so that's also a really nice feature as well. And when it comes to this bag, I will also do a review of it as well and also do a comparison video with the um, Pillow Madison 18 just because I know I have a couple requests on this bag. So I will do like a first impressions and then also a comparison video as well for you guys. Um, thinking I will try to get that out if this week is not crazy, um, maybe this week or maybe early next week. And the last bag in today's video is definitely a surprise purchase and it's this really cute bag right here which is the Groovy Satchel 25 in the color black with brass hardware. The reason why I decided to add the Rogue 25 in the color black in my collection is number one, I love the Ruby Satchel 17 so much that I did want to try out a larger size of this bag and I will say I'm very happy with the size. I feel like this is a really great medium sized hand bag. Um, it's not too big and it's not too small and it holds all of my daily essentials and a little bit more. So that's awesome. And the other thing too is that um, I don't have the Rogue 25 in the color black in my collection and I feel like the Rogue 25 in this bag are very similar. So I opted to get this one over like the Rogue 25 25 in black and I'm really happy with that decision just because this is a really great style. And just like the Pillow Madison um, bag as well, I will be doing a first impressions slash review over this bag and also doing a comparison video as well with the Ruby Satchel 17 and the Rogue 25 um, as well. 
So that's it for today's video over um, some of my recent purchases. If you guys have any questions over these items, please leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can definitely help you out that way. Um, but if you did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye.